Welcome to the first video in a three-part series. My name is Kimberly Lavallee, and this video is being developed for the New Hampshire Department of Education. This first video will focus on developing your startup team, a charter application, and an overview of your CSP grant application. We have outlined several common questions that we hear from people who are looking to develop a charter school. The first most common question we get is how is a public chartered school different from a traditional public school? New Hampshire chartered public schools are typically different because we develop a mission and a vision that we build our charter around. Chartered public schools may have limited enrollment by grade and also use a lottery system with blind admissions. The lottery will come in if more applicants apply for positions than are available. Chartered public schools accept students from the entire state of New Hampshire. It is not uncommon to have many sending districts with students going to one charter school. We operate independently from any district with the exception of special education. New Hampshire chartered public schools are exempt from many of the requirements traditional public schools have to follow. Health and safety requirements are required by all public schools, including chartered public schools. There are three types of New Hampshire chartered public schools. The first and most common is a state charter school. The second is a district charter school. And the third is a conversion charter school from an existing public school. Another way a chartered public school differs from a traditional public school is we are a school of parental choice. Any parent may choose to apply to send their child to your school. It's important to be fully transparent about your school, your mission, your vision, and what you are capable of providing. The more transparent you are, the better the outcome for all, including your families. When looking for information about starting a New Hampshire Chartered Public School, we encourage you to reach out to the New Hampshire Department of Education. They have an office dedicated to chartered public schools and can be a valuable resource for you. Who can open a New Hampshire Chartered Public School? The first way is through a nonprofit. They may sponsor you. There are a list of the types of nonprofits provided in this PowerPoint for you. The second way is two teachers may come together and decide to sponsor a New Hampshire Chartered Public School. The third way is a group of 10 or more parents coming together who will develop the charter. How do you plan for the type of school that you're interested in? Put some careful thought into this. Are you interested in a STEM school, a humanities school, a school for at-risk children? What are you interested in developing a mission and vision around and supporting? What are you passionate about? Who should you choose to work with on your startup team for a new chartered public school? What are some of the skill sets you should be looking for? The first priority is to look for a group of people that share a common passion for the mission and vision you are working on. Some key areas to focus on. Have people on your startup team with strong communication skills. It's always helpful to have somebody with a background in legal, finance, hopefully facility as you look for a, a location, and fundraising. A strong startup team requires many different skill sets. As you work with people, you will see who best fits your team and where your needs are. When working with your startup team, review each person as you go along. Is it possible that you may be working with future board members or teachers at this point? It's always good to keep this in mind as you move forward in your process. One area when you are working on a charter and trying to open a chartered public school is location for your facility. There are a number of factors that need to be considered. The first is the location itself. Is it easily accessible and do the demographics support your enrollment numbers? 
Consider the size of the facility you will need and the availability of them within your desired location. Sometimes we find the facilities simply do not exist in many areas at this point. This is when you need to get creative when looking for space. It is not uncommon for charter schools to be located in a shopping mall, business complex, churches, or other shared spaces. The other item to consider is cost. Learn what your local rental market is and also the additional expenses that may be built into your lease that are not necessarily part of your cost per square foot. Another area of confusion when you're looking at your New Hampshire Chartered Public School is how the students will be transported to and from school. The district your school resides in is legally required to provide transportation for students that reside in the same district. Students who live outside of this district will be responsible for their own transportation. One way to support the students and their parents is to encourage carpooling and other forms of transportation. Funding for New Hampshire Chartered Public Schools is available through several resources. Per pupil aid is your primary source of revenue. It is currently funded at $9,000 per pupil. To receive per pupil aid payments, you must submit the appropriate report. These reports are due on the first day of school, November 1st, February 1st, and in July. You can expect to receive payment within four to six weeks after the reports are complete and approved. And this will need to cover the majority of your expenses, including rent, salaries, benefits, and many other items. If you are awarded the CSP grant, you will be able to apply for reimbursement for many of your startup expenses, including some facility costs. Because the CSP grant is reimbursement only, it's important to have access to cash to fund these expenses. Things to consider are a line of credit, a loan with HEFA, or other types of funding to support expenses during this time. New Hampshire Chartered Public Schools are also eligible for a variety of grants and other startup initiatives. It's important to have somebody familiar with grant writing involved at this point. Title programs are also available to your school. Title 1A, 2A, 3, and 4 all fund different aspects of education and professional development. The New Hampshire Department of Education has specialists in each of these title areas. They also hold open office hours online if you need support. An often overlooked area is the alternative low income form or the free and reduced lunch program. Funding from this program does not arrive until the following year. So if you file in year one, you will not receive the funds until year two. It's important to establish a strong relationship with your parents. Work with them to see who is qualified for this. The funds can then be used to support their children in various ways throughout the school year. Donors and benefactors provide key funding to offset the shortfall from any of the other funding sources. Establishing those relationships early on will serve the chartered public school well. A couple of items to consider when you're drafting your charter. Be concise. The charter length is 50 pages and fitting all this information in is difficult. The charter application requires several policies. Make sure you talk to the New Hampshire Department of Education about these policies and possibly see some templates in advance. It's important to have these policies included in your first submission. When planning enrollment for the charter, it's important to use a conservative estimate. The actual enrollment numbers are critical to your budget and planning for the year. Be sure to include attrition and other factors that may impact it. Make sure you clearly state your answers when following the rubric. Make sure it's formatted properly. This may sound silly, but if it's not formatted properly with your index hyperlinks going to the correct location, you stand a higher chance of having it sent back to you. Address these issues up front and submit a professional, complete charter application to the New Hampshire Department of Education. What timeline considerations should you be thinking about when you are starting to write your charter? 
The best way to approach this is to move forward to your anticipated opening date and allow a minimum of 18 months for charter development. Start with your opening date and plan backwards from there. The goal is to have your school approved a minimum of six months prior to opening. The New Hampshire Department of Education will assist you in planning for this. There are several key things to take into account. Once you submit your charter to the New Hampshire Department of Education, it will go through several more steps prior to a hearing with the State Board of Education. This includes a legal review and a peer review. Both of these reviews will require feedback from you to address any areas of concern or areas that they would like to see highlighted with additional emphasis on them or further explanation. Ideally, you will allow yourself 18 months or more for this process. Who should you bring to your State Board of Education hearing for charter approval? We recommend you bring somebody who can speak to your financials and your projections. Have somebody there who can also address things like your curriculum and governance of your school. Ideally, this would be your future board chair if they have been identified. It's also important to bring a family or two that is interested and passionate about your school. In closing, several key items to take away from this. Your startup team is critical. Make sure you look for people who can address the needs discussed in this video. When preparing your charter, work closely with the New Hampshire Department of Education and make sure you follow the rubric, which has also been included at the end of this video for your reference. Think about key members of your startup team. Are any of them potential future board members or teachers in your school? You may be surprised by how many people on your startup team will be able to serve on the board or in other areas in your first year. People who share your passion for the mission and vision will prove invaluable in year one. At the end of this presentation, you will find a number of resources listed. Included are the contacts for the New Hampshire Department of Education and other resources, including RSA 194B, which governs New Hampshire Chartered Public Schools. Please review these. They will provide support and answer any other questions that may arise.